uh, we have been hearing a lot about security in Linux in our world. Is it because a lot of people are using it in new use cases? Is it because you know it's been used in such use cases where it makes it a very lucrative you know uh, target to attack, or it's, you guys are becoming more and more you know kind of not that you know. So I think it's uh, education. So I know there's one major industry right now that got a huge wake up call when they realized that their um, in one country their networks were infiltrated, right? And all of a sudden they were they were their industry was used to physical security to protect themselves, but then they realized wait we're all digital stuff, yeah. and now we need to actually pay attention to this stuff. I think it's just more of an education process. If you look at the security people, they've been saying the same thing for 20 years. It's just now it's with, it's hitting home more and more and more, I think. So um, this, it's the same issues we've had for the past 20 years, <laughs> I think. So I don't know. I, maybe that's my opinion why it seems more prevalent now. It's just a, more awareness, finally. Yes. So the, the message is finally sinking in. I don't necessarily agree about the education as much. Well, maybe they're related. It's just the news cycle when it comes to, to technology in general. I think maybe because technology isn't changing so much anymore. Um, the, I'm seeing just the tech news sites take security issues way more seriously. That's true. It sells. It, it, it does sell, but it's also, I think, uh, let's say 10 years ago, you wouldn't even talk about security when it came to Windows because it just wasn't an issue. Right? Yeah. But if you read but, the whole thing, you you will need physical access to the machine, but nobody would talk about yeah, that. Well. Or you know, you you should have you know side loaded an Android app. Nobody would talk about that. One million Android devices vulnerable. But you know. yeah, and well, that's part of the the whole PR problem where where yeah, it sells, and you don't need to really you have a real security issue. It's it's. it's enough if you have something that you can make a big stink about. Yeah, so some security issues aren't as bad as they are made out to be. And some but, people, like uh, in the security industry, I mean, we both complained about that. You complained about it a lot. They are attention seekers and that they want to, you make a logo for your bug that you announced or something. And sometimes it's not even a big issue at all. Right. Like the whole GPG email thing. That was a perfect example. There wasn't a problem. And our configuration in this odd way, it wasn't that GPG was not properly enc encrypting your emails. Um, people like theater in order to drive consulting stuff and like that, or they just like theater. <laughs> and that's the whole, yeah, make a website and have a cool logo. That's yeah. new in the last year. Yeah, that is, yeah, ever so since Heartbleed, right? Yeah. yeah. New sites will pop up just for one thing and they generate a lot of page views and revenues. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we've even been spoofed. That's even been spoofed too. Yeah. Or well, fake there was ones. the AMD oh, the fake one. Yeah. one. Yeah, it wasn't technically it wasn't fake, but it was seemed yeah. to be a pump and dump thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is something. It could be uncomfortable question, but when sometimes when he explodes on you know LKML, what do you feel? You know. How do I feel? <laughs> la 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 la. la. <laughs> <laughs> there, but the grace of God, go I. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I don't. it's being Greg who's been getting uh, news lately. Yeah, so. <laughs> I've been got news for complaining about stuff. Yeah, well, that whole, the, the talk I, I gave about it, about Spectrum Meltdown, right? Oh, yeah. So uh, it's the same exact talk I gave in China, and Japan, in public. It's been on YouTube. It's public. But there was actually a reporter in the room who made a sensationalist headline, or somebody made a a pretty headline, and that was funny. Um, Luckily, I mean, it wasn't anything that, I have, that none of us had said in the past. So, so are you becoming an influence, like kind of becoming a bad influence on it? No, it wasn't. I no, wasn't, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm saying I think uh, what you kind of see from the outside is not, not actually yeah. what the community sees internally that much. Yeah, I mean, what we do, and also, I mean, what we do is also everything in public you can read. I mean, people do troll the mailing list to see what we post, and if you say something bad, yeah, that's a good news cycle for a day. And, Certain sites can get a click or two, but I mean, the majority of everything we do is the same. Yeah, as normal. you mentioned last time, you know, if you, the coach and the players when they play. Yeah, you're, you're not putting a, you're not you're putting saying, a mic on a on yeah. a professional man, baseball manager's lapel when he's cursing at his players. Yeah, it's too. Happened. <laughs> it has. But, um, but yeah, it's just different too. And we also all are people. I've blown up at times too. Yeah, we all. Do. 